Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. This video will talk about pure inductive loads. So we have the current flowing through the inductor, which is the, the peak value of the current times cosine 2 pi times frequency times time plus the angle minus 90 degrees. And we'll see why minus 90 degrees. So theta is the phase angle of current, T is time, F is frequency in hertz. The RMS value of the voltage is the peak value of the voltage divided by the square root of 2. And this is only valid for sinusoidal voltages. The same thing for the current. The RMS value of the current is the peak value of the current divided by the square root of 2. And this, only, and this is only valid for sinusoidal currents. The reactance of the inductor, so XL, is 2 pi times F times L. F is frequency, L is the inductance. So the current flowing through the inductor is the voltage divided by J times XL, which is the reactance of the inductor. So if we rearrange such that we bring the term J in the numerator, then we get V divided by XL times minus J, because I moved J from the bottom to the, to the top, so I changed the sign. And minus J is just the angle of minus 90 degrees. So what this equation is telling us, so the relationship between the current and the voltage in, a, uh, in an inductive load or pure inductive load is the, the current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. So the simple graph to the right kind of shows this relationship. So the current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. The voltage and the current values are RMS values, since we're talking AC circuit. So now the average power absorbed by the inductor is zero. So the in, a pure inductor consumes zero power. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to Engineer Simple to receive more videos. Have a good day.